Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Nigeria's Muslim aggression. Thousands flee northern Nigeria and 185 are dead after coordinated bomb attacks by Islamic terrorists late last week. Many of those fleeing are Catholics who say that churches have been destroyed in the deadly attacks that the terrorist group Boko Haram is claiming responsibility for. One source told the group Aid to the Church in Need that it is the goal of Boko Haram, whose name means, quote, Western education is sacrilege, to drive all Christians out of northern Nigeria. The recent attacks utilized gunmen, exploding cars, and suicide bombers that targeted police stations. And 200 arrests have been made since the attacks, with 80% of those arrested being Chadian mercenaries. United Nations intelligence reports that Boko Haram had the help of Chadian members trained by Al-Qaeda's North African affiliate. Undiplomatic maneuvers. In an unprecedented move, the most recently appointed nuncio to the United States is calling the Vatican corrupt and referring to his newest assignment as a punishment. The Associated Press quotes Archbishop Carlo Maria Vagano, whose most recent post was Secretary General of the Governorate of the Vatican as saying in one of his recent letters to the Holy See last March, quote, My transfer is causing disarray and discouragement among those who believed it was possible to resolve the numerous situations of corruption and waste, end quote. However, the letter in question was written months before Vagano's transfer, and accusations of Vatican corruption by Italian television stations following the Archbishop's statements are resulting in threats of legal action from the Vatican if the unsubstantiated claims are not retracted. Though Vigano is credited with reversing the Vatican governorate from a deficit of millions to making 34.4 million euros in profit the year after he took charge, never before has a diplomatic nuncio criticized the Vatican. Questioning candidacy. Obama is being subpoenaed in a Georgia court as judicial officials question his eligibility as a 2012 presidential candidate on the Peach State ballot. White House lawyers have scolded Georgians, saying that the election of Obama to his position has been confirmed by members of Congress and that their questioning of his citizenship status is irrelevant. Hearings have been scheduled for three separate complaints raised against his candidacy brought by citizens of Georgia, which they are allowed to do under state law and must be answered by law as well. It is worthy to note, a number of states have filed suits challenging Obama's eligibility to be president, all of which have been ignored. And while the Senate held hearings questioning McCain's eligibility status, it refuses to do the same for such a case as Obama's. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. New spanking law. Big Brother can put you in prison with a minimum 10-year sentence for spanking your child if a newly proposed law passes in Mississippi. The maximum penalty would be life in prison, based on how your judge interprets the words, quote, reasonable discipline. Undefined words in the current version of the law that represent your right to dis discipline your kids. Current law allows a physician to determine if any abuse has taken place in a parent's discipline of their own child. The Homeschool Legal Defense Association is tracking the bill through state legislature, which could become a weapon used to eradicate homeschooling. And finally, State of the Union demand. Obama is urging all states to raise their compulsory school attendance laws to age 18 giving parents the impression that he has no respect for what they think about when their child should be out of high school. The White House occup occupant said in his recent State of the Union address, quote, So tonight, I am proposing that every state, every state, requires that all students stay in high school until they graduate or turn 18, end quote. 
The Home School Legal Defense Association, or the HSLDA, takes issue, arguing that such requirements only add unnecessary restrictions to homeschoolers, encroaching on many such students smart enough to graduate early or who need to go into the workforce. The president of the HSLDA, Michael Ferris, says there appears to be no end to Obama's desire for power and that he has gone way too far in making such a demand. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on realcatholictv.com. And also be sure to check out The Vortex, where Michael talks about calling on the faithful to fight contraception. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you.